Guys, before we actually start this video, if you don't know, I actually got partnered with Epic Games and they're hooking your brother up. Guys, create a supporter is now a thing. If you go down to the item shop and you go to the bottom right, support a creator, click on that, type in your boy's name, exotic motion underscore YT, and then you guys are going to be able to hit accept. Over here at the top right, it says creator supported exotic motion underscore YT. Take a picture of this or this right here and tweet me it. I will go ahead and retweet it and I'm picking a winner to give you guys free V-Bucks. All you gotta do is tweet me that's all you got to do it it shows support to your boy and i would appreciate that more than anything Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, I'm bringing you guys another video. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys another edit, aim, and shoot course. This one is actually pretty fun. It's not as good as the last one, but it is still a very good editing course. You guys are definitely gonna enjoy it. I wanted to bring this to the channel because one, you guys did like the last editing course, and two, this actually really does help you out a lot in the game. Yes, that's right, I got another webcam. So you guys can actually see, it's a little laggy. I gotta fix it. I don't know exactly why is it like that. It's a DSLR camera, it's supposed to be like high quality, but for some reason it's not. I think I have to go out and buy something. I don't know what it is. If you guys do like that feature, I can switch over to this camera and I don't know if I want to show you guys something. It's widescreen and stuff like that. But for now, I do like that little add-on. We're going to use any of these weapons. Basically, you hit start mini game. I'll give you guys the code. The code is also in the link in the description below if you want to go ahead and load it up while you're watching this video. But I'm going to have to turn the gameplay down because the gameplay is extremely loud. Okay, so basically, we're going to go with a SCAR. Uh, we'll go with the Heavy because it has a lot of rounds and the AK. So we're going to switch these around. This is the setup that we're going to do. And this is a very easy course. I'm just going to walk you guys through it. I'm not going to go too fast. This is my first time doing it today. But basically, the first step is it's just basic edits. You know, we're going to go down. We're just going to literally pyramid. Two pyramid and a floor, or a pyramid and a floor. You're just gonna do this all the way down. It's just to practice normal stuff. It's basic stuff. Um, and then this is, this is the stairs, wall, stairs, wall. It's just to practice like ba other basic editing techniques and stuff like that. And it's always good to do this in playground to warm up or anything like that. Um, if you guys want to know like how you warm up and stuff, it's always good to do stuff like that just because it does help out a lot, you guys. I promise you if, you, if you sit in playground and do this for like, or not playground, but if you sit into the creative game mode and you do this for hours, you're going to get a lot better at the game, I promise you. The next thing after you do these is this one. This is a lot of people struggle with this one, but it's actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it. It's just literally jump into the side doing that and this is really good in build fights if you if you learn how to do this in build fights you're gonna be really good at the game the next one is going down but if you guys remember in the other ones all the stairs and ramps were facing the same exact direction so it was a lot easier this one they switch it up so that way it's a little bit difficult as you guys can see that stair was facing that way this one's facing right this one's facing up this one's left like they're all different directions so that way you can get used to editing and not everything's going to be the same exact thing in every build fight so that's why they do it like this and it's good to practice that you know it's always good to have that practice then we have the shooting shooting course and shooting the shooting part of it which is pretty easy you can literally the straight away you just spray you literally just hold and spray looking right and you're gonna miss a lot just because of the bloom in the game naturally but then the ones you miss you can just go back and tap it with your AR. And then these ones up here going up zigzag, you can do the same exact thing if you want, or you can take your time and actually shoot each one and try to do it as fast as you can. You can try to speed it up, but again, the bloom is going to mess you up a lot in this. The person that made this didn't do this part the best in the world, but it is still pretty good. It does help out a little bit. If you want to go slow, take it slow, hit each one. That's probably the best technique if you want to learn how to get better or learn how to deal with recoil and stuff like that. Like, like they give you different ARs so you can use whichever one you want to practice with. Now this next one, this one's pretty fun. Kind of hard. Basically, you just take this ice and you hit fire these. This is just going to help out with your hit fire shots. It's definitely going to help out with shotguns a lot. And you can take your time doing this. You don't have to rush anything. You don't have to do anything too fast. You stand on the wall to make it look like it's first person. And then after you do that, you come over here and you're ready for the next part. This part's basically uh, practicing if you're doing scrims and stuff. If you're trying to box yourself in in the final circle, uh, you have these people shooting at you with pistols. You just do this. And you just constantly go through and do this. Oh, this is something that a lot of people need to practice on. And by people, I mean me, myself. <laughs> it's kind of hard. Once you get through that, it's easy 90s all the way up. 
This is very easy. Again, you can freestyle on this course. There's nothing specific and exactly that you have to do with it. It's all just freestyling and having fun. This is just editing your walls. And then this part's fun. This is the shotgun. You hit the bounce pad, flick your shotgun shot, bounce pad. I missed. And there's two of them. This one, oh my god, I choked that big time. This is another shotgun practice. The reason this one's good is because it's different. Like we're not we're not getting the same thing that we're used to getting all the time. It's different. So we're doing the floor edit, shotgun shot, floor edit, shotgun shot, reset, edit, shotgun shot, reset. It's really actually fun to practice if somebody traps himself in a one by one. You could practice that. And then we have the ones where if you're trapped in a one-by-one one, kind of like this, in a game scenario, you're like this and someone's above you, you just... Now, you don't have to put these right here. You can literally just practice like this. Just like that. Moving on to the next one. I think we're used to seeing this. This is... You just edit these. Jump up. Reset. Edit that way. Jump up. Reset. Edit that way. Jump up. Or you could do it like this if you want. I'm faster doing it like this than the two. Right here, it's kind of like... It's kind of easy. You just turn it around you jump turn the stairs around jump turn the stairs around now it looks really confusing when you're moving fast so i'll do it slow for you guys you basically edit the floorboard come over here and then you have stairs facing the wrong way you're gonna click on it to edit jump move it that way and set it so it's all in one motion it's literally super quick it looks confusing when you don't when you're watching someone else do it but when you're doing it you you can do it pretty easy and then right here, this is the uh, pyramid, the floor, pyramid, floor, wall, stairs. You'll see. This is this is like one of the first editing courses that anyone ever did. Oh, I'm choking. Oh man, I'm choking, guys. I haven't even warmed up, so bear with me for a second. And then this one is just going down. Get your shotgun ready, reload it, and I think you're gonna shoot. Yeah, you're gonna shoot these. Uh, what are they called? The little metal poles or whatever it's just quick edits to get down shoot the metal pole if you miss now this one this is probably the hardest one the hardest part of it so basically what you want to do is put your stairs edit it run all the way to the top of your stairs keep running straight and confirm it so you're going to rotate the stairs while you're on it while you're at the top that's probably the hardest one to do because if you do die you have to restart the whole thing it's hard but it is fun you just gotta wait till you get to the top. This is an edit one, so you basically can go ahead and edit, shoot, reset. You can do this edit, shoot, reset. You can do a window. It's really up to you on how you wanna do it. You can do this. Up to you, you just have fun with it. Do whatever one you wanna do. This is the double ramp, double wall, double floor. So this is like this. So as you guys can see, Double ramp, double floor, double wall, all the way up to the top. You just practice it. And again, you're doing this in the fastest time. The only thing that sucks about this course is they do not have a timer, so you can't time yourself. Um, on this part, it's just literally fall down. It does Honestly, that part, I don't know why they did it. I think he said that you can just go ahead and freestyle. So if you want, you can just, if you're up here, you can go. I don't know. It's a freestyle one. This is just running through them. Uh, switch it up. Don't do the same thing. Don't just do this all the way through because that's easy. Switch it up. Do different things. For once, instincts go there. Go this side. Do that. Do that. Jump through it. Do that one. Jump through. Do a door. Open it up. You just play with it. You just do different ones, you know? And then the last one is the drop. You just drop stairs. Drop, or you could do a floorboard if you want. It's up to you. And then the trap, be careful of the trap. And then you can go through the creative hub and restart all over again. Or you can use the zip line, come up here to the top, and just have fun with 90s or anything that you want to practice. If you want to practice 90s, come here and do your 90s just like that. I actually got better at my 90s. I could probably do my time a lot faster because I've been practicing my 90s. Like, look. It's pretty fast. I mean, before I was always hitting the sidewall, I learned that you have to do, you have to push two buttons at the same time, which is a little bit different than what I'm used to doing. And you can practice this once you get to the top. Jump off, grapple hook there, and then go again. Just practice whatever you want to practice. If you want to practice the, the double, the double, like this, you can practice this if you want. You have unlimited mats and stuff. You can literally do whatever you want. You can practice this if you want. Um, oh crap, I'm messing up. 
It's kind of hard if you don't jump. Oh, I'm choking. But yeah, it's just another editing course. I wanted to show you guys this editing course because it does help out a lot. And I want you guys to go out there, practice it, do it as many times as you want. And if I find another editing course that's actually doable and it's fun and you can actually get better doing it, of course, I'm going to show it to you guys and I will bring it to you guys in a video. So if you please can, if you do want more editing videos, editing courses, I'm working on building my own. So that way you guys can actually do anything and everything that you want. Just stay tuned for that. It's supposed to be like a huge one. I don't know. It's going to take me a while. But guys, if you please can, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.